this is Dampy, and welcome back to Splatoon 2, doing the Octo Expansion. In the last episode, I was doing the grey track, and I believe there is one more left for for me to, to do, and then I think that one's going to be all done, and then there's only really a, a few left. We have been making beautifully good progress through uh, up these levels. I don't know if beautiful is the, the word to describe it, but that will do, and Goose Station. Is apparently the phrase to describe this level, and it's an inkjet level, so it looks like I'm going to be using the, the special inkjet the entire time, which is good because I do need to improve my accuracy with this thing, because my accuracy hasn't been the uh, the best with uh, with this thing in the, the past, and so it'd be a great way to kind of increase my ability in a multiplayer as well, if I can get a little bit better at using this weapon. It looks like there's no time limit or anything, so I can kind of just kind of fly endlessly around with this, and oh, an ink rail, so ah! So I can drop, and then, ah, oh, okay, so I can go into the, the squid as normal, and then I go back to kind of using the, the jetpacky thingy and uh, carrying on to, to shoot the enemies. Right, so it looks like if I get them directly, I can take them out in one hit. Uh, but yeah, the grates are a bit weird because, oh, I didn't get that one. Um, <laughs> yeah, as you can see, I kind of just drop right down to the ground. They don't count as real ground at all. Oh, no. That was really done by me, but I was just about able to, to save it. That was incredibly risky. I nearly just dropped down straight to my doom. That would have been a, an embarrassing way to, to start off today's episode, but I was just about able to, to save and redeem myself. Let's try and take out these guys, though, because once again, that got a little bit dangerous. And, aha! Okay, so there's a little staircase lifting up here. We can now drop down and go straight to the next one. And this is really cool. I really enjoyed this level. I like it when they allow you to use like these abilities that you'd normally only be able to use for like a tiny like amount of time like online. But now you can just kind of like fly around for like as long as you want. That's really cool. So let's go and grab some of these. And I don't need to worry about the, the floor being green because I'm going to splatter it all purple anyway. Uh, a couple more enemies to, to take out. And I need to be careful again because we're back to the railing. So you can jump kind of just boost yourself up a, a little bit but it's not the the easiest thing to, to do in the the world as you can see i'm just like stumbling along on my on my feet making my way around the the area and if i press the the wrong button for a second i am going to be gone and oh was i supposed to shoot ink on the side and fly into it you reckon how was i supposed to to solve that Okay, I made it back to the, the same area i don't know if i just didn't fly very well or yeah because i can't splatter uh can't spare ink on that. There doesn't seem to be anywhere else to go. Let me just try again and maybe just fly better, I guess. And that's not happening. How am I supposed to get up there? What am I missing? All right, let's get back there again and let's try and work out what I'm supposed to do there because I have no idea. Okay, so there really doesn't seem to be anything else here to help me. So what I have been doing is kind of like just jumping off the edge. Maybe I need to like fall. Like, oh, oh, can I double jump? Ah! I didn't know there was a double jump. Okay, so if I just go boom, boom. Okay, okay, right. It wasn't some big, deep psychological question. I just had to double jump, and I didn't know I could double jump. Okay, that's good. That's good. And double jump, just uh, to safely make my way to here. Good to know. Always good to know. Uh, ink rails, use them well. Okay, I will. But is there anyone I can take out from where I am here? No, I, I can't reach those people. Right, I'm going to have to move in. Oh, oh, danger, danger, danger. Get in the ink rail. Get in the ink rail. And I got shot in the ink rail. They told me to use the ink rail. I got shot in the ink rail. <laughs> right, I got a little bit overwhelmed there because I went a little bit too slow. So let's just go uh, and try it. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I just learned about the double jump. Why didn't I use it? Uh, right, okay. Let's uh, let's go and try that again. And uh, let's get to the end. And the problem is I was, I was out of range to, to get the, the other one. So let's just push forward straight away. I'm going to fire some ink down there. So I have hopefully somewhere safe to, to hide in when I get to here. And then let me get into cover. Uh, am I in cover? Kind of in cover. Right, I actually need to start taking out some enemies. Otherwise, I'm going to be gone for. Right, this guy's weak. There we go. That's him taken out. Let's hide for a second. Let's actually get some ink to, to hide in. No! Stop splattering the floor with your color. I want it to be my color. Right, let's go and try and take out some of these guys. Oh, there's little flying ones as well around here. I'm just going to try and stay moving and shooting. I'm literally hitting nothing. Is there going to be anything bonus in here? Ah, a bit of armor. Okay. Oh, no! Woo! Do, 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 do. That was... <laughs> that was a little bit too close for comfort. All right, let's try and take up the, this person on this side there. There we go. That's one, one half cleared out. Any, any other bonuses down in that side? Nope, I don't think so. All right, can I... Can I stay safe here for just a second? Can I just, like, regain my composure and my breath for a second? Right. Okay. Let's go. Let's go for the, the Gatling gun guy first. So let's use uh, these rails to get over here as fast as I can. Uh, let's drop down, get my ink up, which I don't think I need to do, but let's just do that anyway. And there we go. That's him taken out. Now, once again, let's hide for a little bit. 
get a bit of safety. I've confused them. They don't know where I am. And then now it's just uh, some of these little last flying guys. I'm probably going to regret saying this, but these guys are normally too tough to, to deal with. So I should be able to, to get them. Do I then need to parkour to the end or is something going to open? Okay, no, it's all, it's all shifting around. I saw the way that they were arranged. I was like, they're not expecting me to jump over there. I've only just learned that I even have a double jump. Don't expect me to use it well. <laughs> but I was able to do it. I make it to the end of the, the level. Apart from me being an absolute noob and not knowing that I could double jump, that went okay. Why is it called Goose Station? I, it never was really revealed as to why it was called Goose Station. But hey, I was able to complete it. That is Goose Station completed. And uh, is that the grey line all completed? Oh, no. Okay, it carries on. I think there's... Oh, yeah. I guess there's one more. And then there's, like, where it crosses over to the, the pink line. So this is the, the final level on the, the grey line then. Uh, right then, let's go and see uh, what this level is going to be called. Probably something equally as ridiculous as Goose Station, knowing this game. And it is called... Labyrinth Station. Okay, boring name. Uh, let's use the Splat Jewelies. I love using the Splat Jewelies. I don't care what the reward is. I want to use these guns because they're really fun to, to use. All right, then. Let's launch ourselves into the, the level and all. Oh, this is, this is like a proper level. Normally, they're like... I mean, if I look at it from this angle, it looks like it could be like kind of a real city. And then you turn around and it's um <laughs> it's a little bit more crazy. All right, then. Let's um let's go and push uh, my way forward, then. This is really... It's really... It's like it's weird how not weird this level looks is that is that is, is that like uh, does that make sense normally there's like giant floating game boys and all sorts like in the, the background but it's like really bizarre that it's not really bizarre which is in itself really bizarre <laughs> have i said bizarre enough times right then uh we're doing okay though it looks like it's kind of a, a pretty standard level in terms of just uh uh breaking my way and you know and trying to take out all of the the enemies and there's got to be something down there let's let's just throw one of the balloons into here and let's just hope i take something out oh i got it right in the head right in the head what a prediction right there's probably going to be more uh poking around here as well let's just go with the the jewelies and uh, just spray all of the the ground oh someone's dropping in hello lady let's go and uh, try and take her out and then let's chill out for just just one second to, to get my health up and then keep on going forward. Um, I haven't really been reading what's going on. I guess uh, you can kind of read at the bottom of the screen. It'll be very difficult for me to be reading and playing and talking at the same time. I think if you try to do that, your brain literally explodes in your head. And so I do not want to, to risk that happening. So I am not going to try and do all of those things at the, the same time. I can take up these guys, though. The Splat Julies is perfect uh, for situations like that, like when they're kind of charging up really close to you. And then I can shoot this thing. If I can reach it to get me up to the top, can you reach it? Uh, not quite. Let's go back onto, uh, onto this box to, to try and, uh, and get that. Boost up my ink uh, as well. Can I reach it? Can I, sure, can I reach that? Is, is that? What am I missing here? There's gotta be something I'm, are these supposed to be like bin bags? The, oh, ah! Okay, looks like I can go along... Hmm, how do I get up there though? <laughs> what am I missing here? Uh, am I supposed to be able to reach the thing? Maybe if I jump and shoot it? This is hard because I can't really jump and shoot because I kind of do like a weird roll. I guess maybe if I go like boom out of ink form and then shoot it i just can't reach it and then can i go back up this side i can i can't splat my way up there and then that thing's moving across there is there any way that i was supposed i'm supposed to get up to there and then make my way across it feels almost like i need to make my way back oh there's on this side as well there's a few places with splattered ink and it's really making a big deal out of shooting that thing let me try this another go let me try and do another big squid jump and then shoot oh there we go Okay, it was just like really, really difficult for, for me to hit. I think it's because I'm using the, the jewelies and they really are like close range weapons. And I think it might have been just like a little bit too far away. And oh, this person isn't very far away. Let's try and get a, a balloon up to, to them. The balloons are good. So they don't require much ink, but they don't do the most damage in the, the world. And oh, there was something hidden down here. It just seemed like there would be something hidden down there, didn't there? Right then, let's go and uh, try and make my way up here. Oh, there's some armor up there and that I'll hopefully be able to get in a, in a moment. Uh, but first, let's go and try and deal with uh, all of these enemies. Uh, and then we can go and push up and uh, hopefully get the rewards. There we go. That's them taken out. Let's chill out here for a second and then let's go and try and get this person. Are they in range? They're just about in range. And then I should be able to, from here be able to, to grab that. And oh, hello. <laughs> Someone popped up from there. But now I can go to here and to here. And there we go. There is the uh, the final checkpoint. This has been such a weird level. It's just like it's just like a normal game. For like a moment, you could forget that you're playing like one of the wackiest, craziest games in the world, Splatoon. And just think you're playing just like a normal third person shooting game. You know, apart from the fact that you're shooting ink all over the place. I guess it's not. It's not completely standard. Oh, that was my armor down already. I was hoping to, to hang on to that for a little bit longer, but I guess that's okay. I haven't really got much choice. Uh, I managed to, to make them kind of run away from me. Let's try and do a bit of a, of a dodge. And there we go. That was them taken out. And I can see the end of the level. 
But there is a uh, one or two things that I need to, to deal with before I get to it. Uh, so let's back off here a little bit. Once again, get my health back up and kind of try and let them push into to me. Let's do some damage. Let's try and dodge around beside the umbrella. And there we go. I was able to take them out. And let's not die by running into the ink on the, the ground. And oh, was that someone else really close again? Or was that them with like a really long range shot? I think that might have just been a really, really long range shot. So uh, let's uh, let's keep pushing my way forward. I'm going to try and keep my ink up as much as I can. So I keep running out of ink like in really, really bad situations, which isn't very helpful. Uh, it'd be great to break that box down a little bit if I can. Uh, just to, to get them a little bit closer. Because I don't really have uh, any other cover uh, apart from this little tiny bit down here. I guess I can kind of go over the top of it and try and get that one. And if I get them, then I can go and drop back down. There we go. Drop down, drop down. Stay safe. Stay safe. There's like a tiny little bit of pink ink that I can kind of stand in around here. <laughs> and then let's go. Let's go for big Gatling guy next, I think, is going to be the, the next target. So let's get in close and try and get them. And then let's dodge and then go and try and finish off that person. And are we done? Are we good? I think we're done. Okay. End of the level. Lock it in. That was so strange. It was so strange. Because it wasn't strange. <laughs> it would be cool to get a few more levels like that. But I do kind of generally prefer the crazier ones. You know, the games where you're basically not even playing Splatoon. Like the one where I was basically playing pool and one where you're just smashing boxes and stuff. I do really enjoy those ones. But that was cool. It was cool just because of how different it was. And... And that is another line completed. We collected a whole load of mem cakes. Uh, so this is uh, hopefully going to give us a, uh, a bunch of new armor, uh, which we're going to be able to, to use in the, the multiplayer as well. So let's see what our reward is going to, to be. Blah, 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 blah. We were able to get some dull boots replica acquired. Jolly good. Right, thumbs up. I will uh, definitely try that out uh, in multiplayer in the, the future. But for now, let's waste no time jumping into a uh, another line. Let's go. Let's go for this pink line here, because we've done quite a lot of the, the pink line already, just by, you know, it kind of crossing over with some of the, the other lines that we've been on. So it probably uh, won't take too long uh, to go and finish off the, the rest of the, the lines. So let's go and try and get them done. And then the most the other lines have thangs on, which is the, the main reason we're down here, is to collect the, the thangs. Uh, let's use the uh, let's use the splat charger for, for this one. Let's, let's not be boring and go for the easiest one. It does look like I am going to have to shoot some things at Ranger as well. So having the, the splat charger might be a good idea. And what is this level? If the other level I did was very normal. Oh, wait, so let's read this. Destroy crates until, uh, oh no, until they match. What? Okay. It looks like, from the first glance, it looks like I just need to destroy all of the orange ones. And then that is going to be all that I need to, to do to make them match up. Like, if you look, the shape looks like it kind of would match up if I got rid of all of the orange ones. So is the splat charger the right weapon? So if I shoot one, does it ever go... Oh, I broke an incorrect one. Did I shoot one of the others? Yeah, so what I want to test is if I shoot one of the um the, the other ones, is that going to change things? So what does this do as well? Uh, ah, that spins them around. Okay, and then I can kind of boost my way up. So yeah, if I shoot that, is that going to blast away any other ones? It did. Okay, okay. So my theory of only shooting the uh, the um, the orange ones might still be uh, correct. I just need to make sure I angle it so I'm not going to hit any of the, the other ones. So for example, if I go around here and shoot this one like that, the ink isn't going to splat and hit any others. I've got to be a bit more careful with this one. Okay, that one was okay. God, this is going to take forever though this is this is a ridiculous level this is ridiculous i'm gonna do it though <laughs> i'm gonna do it though it's just gonna take a really long time so like oh man i, I want to i'm gonna let me try out that other weapon let me restart from the station platform and let me see because the thing that's gonna make it difficult is the fact that i have to angle it so i only hit like the one that I want and it doesn't go through and hit any of the other ones. The problem with it, oh imagine trying to use the rapid blaster to do that. Yeah the problem with that though is that I can't look directly up or down which means that like I can't like aim straight up to, to try and avoid them. Like you just can't, it just doesn't let you aim straight up for some reason which doesn't normally come into play in multiplayer but has been a little bit annoying in some of these kind of single player levels. So let's let's see how this uh, weapon goes about it. So let's try the same. Oh, ah, okay. So it's like a rapid fire thing. This might be a bit easier because I can kind of just tap and then yeah, two taps will take out each box. And this seems to be a much, much more manageable. Like, the reward is, like, hardly anything different. But this seems to be a much easier way to, to do this. The scary thing is, though, is one tiny mistake 
then it's game over. Like the teeniest little mistake and I need to begin again from the beginning. So I am going to be super, super careful uh, when trying to, to do this level. But it is going to take a very long time for, for me to, to do so and would be very boring for, for you to, to sit through all of this. So let me uh, speed up the, the video while I do this. Uh, put something on the TV for me to watch at the same time. And uh, yeah, and then uh, you can see the, the progress and hopefully I won't make too many mistakes. Okay guys, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm nearly done, I think. So luckily they were nice and one of them dropped a, a key which opened the, the crate in the, the middle uh, which gave me a checkpoint. So even if I do mess up now, at least I won't be starting from the, the very, very beginning. Uh, yeah, this has been the worst level I have done so far in the entire game. It's literally climbing around and breaking boxes. And it's not like, oh, smash them as fast as you can. That's fun. No, it's be super careful with every single shot that you make. Woo wee Okay, we we are done though. We are done. Let's. I don't even want to shoot making my way down here. I just want to be as slow and careful as I can and not do anything wrong. Because if any of those boxes broke, I would have been done for. If you are playing this, 100% use this gun. Do not use anything else because this made it so, so much easier. Um, although, i got to find a way up to the uh, the end of the, the level. Uh, there's a gold climb up to the top um, of the example statue. Ah, okay. These these looked unsplattable to me. Didn't, didn't they? Oh, these ones are unsplattable, but this one wasn't. Okay, looks like I then now need to, to make my way across to this one over here. And then gradually make my way up to the, the top. It's so liberating being able to, to shoot things and not care too much about being like absolutely perfect with uh, with everywhere that you uh, you shoot. It just is a, it's a big change from what I've been doing for the last, I mean, I don't know how long I was doing it for, but it, it took a good while, probably like five minutes or something. I know that doesn't sound like that much, but to be walking around a big stop, like stack of um, cardboard boxes and carefully shooting them, it felt like a, a very long time. Anyway though, that's the, the level uh, completed. Uh, oh, let's jump down here and let's grab all of these before we go and uh, and finish it uh, and then let's go and carry on shooting this and then yep that should be us done oh can i get out i can't get out can i okay what's well, okay i keep thinking that i can't shoot those things but i can right do i need to like shoot them and then really quickly like jump into it like now i can't even complete the level after all even like the final bit of the the level i'm struggling to to complete right jump and there we go i don't think i could do it in squid form right there we go test pass though Matchmaker Station. This has been such a weird episode. These have been such strange levels, haven't they been? Let's go and do another one, though. Let's go and try and do uh, one more uh, before we uh, finish things off today. I do not want to, to end on that level there. Right then, it's only, uh, I think, maybe four more levels maybe we have to, to complete. Uh, let's go and do this one here right next to the, the thang. I am going to go and, uh, yeah, I'll probably wait to, to do the, the thang once we've completed it. So I just love saying thang. Uh, it's not me saying, it, is, it is thang. It's not thing. It is thang, by the way. It's not me just saying it really weird at all. Oh, it's another, it's, it's an inkjet thingy and against a, a boss as well. Oh, this is going to be cool. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Right. Uh, fire. Oh, oh, let's be careful. Remember the, the double jump. This is good. This is going to be a much better level to, to end it on rather than the, um, yeah, the box one. Octo Shower Supreme! I remember this guy. I like the fact that in the, the, the first one, it had a rubber duck, but it was like a, a yellow rubber duck, and this one had like a more evil looking rubber duck because it's like the Supreme version. And then, ow! That was a direct hit. Whoa, okay. Okay, I need to be a little bit more careful. I think maybe the best way to, to dodge those things might be just to, to go down onto the, the ground in squid form to, to get away with them, because I think I got off pretty... See the duck there again. I think I got off pretty lightly there, because I took a few direct hits, and I did not dodge like any of them. So, uh, yeah, if they are launching even more at, the, at me uh, next time, uh, I need to be definitely uh, prepared for, for that and uh, try and dodge it a little bit better. So, uh, right, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, they're using a Gatling gun this time. Okay, that's a little bit different. Let's wait for them to, to finish shooting. Then let's boost ourselves up high here. Then let's see if we can take out at least one of them. Okay, oh no. Now they're doing the missiles again. Right, let's uh, launch my weapon. Oh no! 
That was such bad timing. I saw, like, as I was boosting my way up, I saw the move it was doing and realized that uh, might not be the, the best thing to, to do. Luckily, I think it did, uh, yeah, it did do a checkpoint. So we are just kind of starting off from the, the same level. And, uh, right, it's doing this one. I was able to, to just about get out of the, the way. I mean, to be fair, this does seem a little bit easier than the, the main version of the, the level. Just because I have, like, this super powerful, like, uh, special ability that I'm able to, to use. Then again, I am not doing the, the best job in the, the world at hitting these guys. Right, are they doing the big shower thing? They are, but I can dodge that okay. I also don't need to refill my ink at all, uh, which is handy. And oh no, these guys, these guys, these guys. I need to be careful of them. I definitely need to be careful. Oh, there's another one. They keep coming out of nowhere. I keep expecting them to like come straight from, from it, like firing at me. But then they keep like looping around at the, the side uh, and I'm not prepared for them to, to go after me at all. Right then, let's go here. Then I can go and, oh, let's go and boost my way into the, the wall here. And, nope, more missiles, more missiles. Right, okay, there's another one here. Let's try and shoot this guy. I was able to, to get them. Uh, let's just chill out for a little bit until I get my, my health up a little bit. There's only two of them. There's only two of them. They should be easy to hit. Maybe I need to get a little bit closer because they move, like, all over the place. And it makes them so hard to, to hit. But there's only one left now. And they are really, really weak uh, already. So the tiniest little splat of ink should be enough to, to take them out. I need to, to look after myself for a little bit, though, before I go in for the, the attack. And there we go. That's them down. Okay, shoot, shoot, shoot. I need to get rid of it now, because I'm going to do, do that whole thing again. And yes, that is it done. Not the entire enemy, just this stage of it. So it means there's going to be one more. And of course, as always in these bosses, they are going to make it even more difficult. So only four of them. It looks like they might be shooting back a little bit more at me now. I'm more worried about what it's attacks are going to be for the next round because I'm only getting it angrier and angrier and angrier. So I'm going to dodge these missiles for for now. I was able to make one of them crash into the, the wall and that was good. And oh, I took out two. I took out two immediately. That was an amazing start. So let's go and uh, and dodge that. I need to be careful. I nearly just like flew off the edge of the, the level then just chasing after it a little bit too eagerly. So I need to be, I need to not do that uh, basically. All right, let's go and shoot some of these missiles. I'm definitely uh, getting a, a better handle on them. And yes, that was another one down. And was that it? I think that was them all down. And it's bouncing around on the floor. Let's shoot the tentacle. And I think I did it. I think I did it. I got better. I got better. I started off bad. And then I continued to be bad. For, for quite a long time, I stayed to be bad. No, wait. Watch the duck. Watch the duck. Keep watching the duck. I'll continue my rant in a second. But first, watch the duck. And... Boo! Sorry. <laughs> I love that. I love the little squeak they had. And yeah, bad, 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 bad for a long time, basically. And then at the end, not too bad. <laughs> that was the that's the bar graph. It's just a straight line along the bottom of bad. And then just at the very end, a slight dip up just to, to not too bad. Not too good. Let's not get crazy, but I got to, to not too bad. <laughs> right then, so there's only a few more levels to do on the, the pink level, so we should be able to, to finish, uh, hopefully, uh, them off in the, the next episode. And uh, then I think we will go to the uh, the, the balloon at the top here. But then again, it doesn't really matter, so I guess we're going to find out. <laughs> look at this guy. Look at this guy! <laughs> Amazing. Oh, can I, can I, oh, look, I can bounce his belly. Boy, oi, oi, boy, oi, oi, boy. I can, like, squeeze it right in. Look, look at that. I just squeeze it right in. Look at that. That's amazing. That is fantastic. And he's very, very patient as well, considering if someone did that to me, if I was sitting there, like, on, like, the London Underground, I would be furious. But he seems pretty chill with the, the whole affair. Anyway, this is going to be the end of this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye!